Oh my god, I don't think this is supposed to be happening. Why so many? Why? What is going on everyone? My name is Bob Beto and welcome to a mod spotlight. Today we are reviewing a mod for Minecraft 1.5.1. Today's mod is the Weather and Tornado mod. Let me get out of this form and there we go. As you can see, I have a bunch of items in my inventory. A lot of these are only available in the graded mode, to what I can tell. While the other two, a Tornado Siren and a Tornado Sensor, can be crafted this way. And both their crafting recipes will be on the screen now. Take a look at them, memorize them, and let's go back to the let's go back to this. As you can see, I built a wonderful house. Now let me show you what this mod actually has in it. As you can see, the house looks beautiful. I know. As you can see, the first thing you notice is leaves flying through the air, a lot of them. You can hear wind in the background, humming. Those are two of the key points of this mod. Another key point is right over this way, which we will actually look at. You see how I pass over this water, and yet it turns dark blue. Well, the mod creator decided to put waves into the mod, making it so you can actually have actual looking, moving water. I know, I repeated myself a few times there, but bear with me. And if I can find the crafting press tree for this surfboard, I will put it right on the screen right now. If not, well, there should be one. So let's just throw that down and get on it. Okay, so let's actually go surfing a little. Right now I'm clicking zero buttons, meaning the surfboard is literally moving on its own. And now I'm parked. The only downfall about it is once you hit the surfboard to get it back, it gives you a boat, which I think should be changed so I can continue having a surfboard. And that's a glitch, and I know that much. Okay, there we go. Let's get real water. Now let's actually get into some of the items in this mod. You have the tornado mod, which we'll be going over in a little bit. The worm gun. The worm gun is a very interesting thing. I can't seem to get it to show, but I know what it does, and I've seen it before. Is you right click on it, anywhere on the ground, and a worm is supposed to pop out of the ground and fly over around Jubilee, just all over the place, and he spits fire places. Like when he lands, he'll spit fire. But as you can see, he doesn't seem to work right now for some reason. I don't know what it is. So we're actually going to move on from him. There we go. That's where he landed. Kind of weird that I couldn't see him. But hey, you at least get to see that he cooked a chicken. The next, the next one up is the shockwave item. The shockwave item, if you point at a block or grass or anything like that, and you right click... It flips the ground. And as you can see, it's kind of weird. If you're on a hill and you do it, it actually knocks the living grass and makes it a dead wheat grass. Which looks weird if you're in a regular biome like this. Let's see, like you can do it with that too. And then you can even, there you go. You should be able to do it with water. And yep, you are. See, you have to just aim at the water and actually hit it. So, so far, it doesn't look like a bad mod. Next item is the drill item. To use this item, all you have to do is point it in the spot. And let's say you want to go mining, but you're too freaking lazy to do it. So all you gotta do is right click. And it shoots items out of the mine and creates you a mine shaft. A slight small one, but one nevertheless. And we grab some torches here. Hold on. Bear with me. There we go. We actually have a 
decently deep cave. It was about 52. So you can keep using the tool. Cause I can show you in creative. I can show you out of creative mode. So there we go. Ow. So I'll just hit the drill item again, and it will actually keep drilling. I am bringing up torches, so. As you see, I aimed it at a different direction, and yes, you can aim it at whatever kind of direction you want. And it will do the same exact thing that it just did before. There we go. So mine actually has a little more walking room. Well, that was a fail. So now we have this item called a test item. Now I was expecting this to be a little different since the last time I had actually looked at this mod. The, the hell? Hello? Okay, let's ignore that, shall we? I don't know what the hell's going on with that. I'm scared actually. Ground's lit up. So the test item I thought would be removed by now because it was weird because I, when I read text, test, uh, test item, I thought maybe he was experimenting with something, but really all it does is if you right click on the ground, oh god, I'm stuck in a hole. Don't hurt me. Okay. It literally just makes a pillar. Yeah. That's really all it does. So, now that we did that, maybe we should actually start using this tornado gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put myself back into creative mode because it's going to get really dangerous. So, I'm just going to right click on the ground. I run right to my house because we're going to be in this house when it happens. And as you see, the tornado is literally going to form. No, you can't really see right now, but bear, just accept it. And there it goes, right there. It literally passed right by my house. Yeah, passed right by my house. Uh, I would assume that's pretty lucky of me. But you see how it just throws items, it rips through the ground? This thing's a monster. There it is. Ah, oh, look at that. It actually is going to rip my house apart wherever it tracks through. And as you see, half my house is completely gone now. I live to the to the point, but my house seemed to not live. What happens is, and as you also can see, I know, random stuff, right? As you can see, the science is going on, telling me there is a tornado there. And also, if you notice, I put redstone up here, and the redstone is lit. Because the sensor, which I figured it out what the sensor does, I think. Mod creator, if you're watching this, please tell me if I'm right or wrong. But this sensor is supposed to activate these sirens? Because now, now it doesn't sense it, the redstone's off, and the sirens are going to be on their last turn around. But what this does, it picks up wood, leaves, dirt, and sand, and the particles from the water, but nothing hard, like, let's say, cobblestone, sandstone, ores. It doesn't pick any of that up. Right now, as you can see, we're just kind of chasing it right now. And it also picks up ice blocks, apparently. I need to pick up ice blocks. Alright, cool. So, it's passing to the water now. And it's a, actually a really cool mod to have. Now, please be warned, this is a very high computer.
computer intensive mod, which if you're not careful, will crash your computer. And it's mostly just because of this thing right here. As you see, I was just standing on all that dirt and it's gone now. Here, if I change it to time, set, day, and now it's daytime, yeah, it picks up ice blocks and throws them everywhere. That's pretty cool. There it is. Look at that. We have a test worm now. Look at that. So that's pretty cool. We actually got to see it now. Cool. Yeah, there it is. That's cool. So I'm actually going to summon one more, and as you can see, it actually picks up the worm as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot it looks like a glove. This was cool when I first saw it. Yeah, we're still in the tornado. That's the tornado. That's what's curling your Minecraft world. So let's go back down. Whee! Ow. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mod. I will rate this mod... A 9 out of 10. Reason why is because it was really good. It's very destructive but very fun to play with. It's very fun to goof around with. And it's also an interesting thing to have in your world. What I didn't like is... How the surfboard turns into a boat. And I wish the tornadoes would be a little more... Would pick up more stuff like cobblestone and all that. So it actually looks like it's destroying the entire world. But other than that, it deserves a 9 out of 10. So if you guys think I'm wrong and you guys want to vote for whatever you think it is, let me know in the comment section below and also hit that like button and also subscribe for more because this is the first episode of the Ma Spotlight where we're going to be doing it every Saturday or Sunday, whichever one we feel like doing it on. And we're going to do mods like this, fun and entertaining. So guys, I will see you next time, and have a good day, everyone.